So in the previous lecture, we were asking questions like you'd ask questions when you want to cross the road. Is there no cars to the left or to the right? And then we can cross the road after we've evaluated. However, you actually have the verb, the execution of walking across the road. We first ask the questions in our mind, but then you actually have the verb of walking. You are walking across the road. Well, likewise, we need to program this as well. Well, in our program, we have if statements. And in here, what we do is we write the condition in the parentheses. So this is where we say, right, I want to look left and I want to look right and I want to see if there's a green man showing so that I can cross the road. But then also you're going to need the braces and the braces will define an execution context. This is the action, the verb, the thing you actually want to execute. So likewise, this is what we're going to do here. You define the instructions that you want to run. So let's go ahead and define the condition. So for example, let's say I want to make sure that the green man is equal to yes, like so. So here we have a comparison operator. We're asking a question. We're evaluating the green man value. This is this variable here that I've defined. I want to look at that variable, pull out its value, and indeed, the the value will be yes and they are equal to one another and again make sure this is case sensitive so if I have a capital Y here and a lowercase y there it's not going to be equal so be very very careful about evaluating strings so once I've evaluated it I can then log something out to the console so console.log and I'll say cross the road there's my verb my execution if you will and if I hit refresh it immediately went down it created these variables variables with the values and then it took a look at the if statement and it asked what is the condition for the execution and all it needed was the green man and it needed to be equal to the string yes if it is then log this out to the console across the road there it is so in fact this condition evaluated to true it's a truthy condition it's either going to be true or false the conditions have been met or they haven't so we have now a true if statement. Now, if this was not true, for example, the green man is equal to no, then unfortunately, these strings won't match. And therefore, you no longer have a truthy statement, you have a false statement. So now let's take a look at this. If I go ahead and save it and hit refresh, nothing happens because it's not true and therefore we don't perform the action. So this leads on to something else. You can write as many if statements as you'd like with your different conditions, but sometimes you want to ask a series of questions. So for example, if something doesn't work out, then else if. What if something else could be done? So let's go ahead and say else if. An else if statement again requires a condition and we can check for a different condition this time. If the green man is on no, I can still cross the road if there's no cars there. So let's go ahead and say, take a look at cars left and I want to see if cars left is equal to zero, then I want to perform a different execution context, this action down here. So now I can go ahead and save this and I can hit refresh. So the first if statement was false. So this execution context was never executed. The second conditional execution context, well, the conditions were met for this execution context because cars left is equal to zero. So we can log out to the console all clear across the road. And don't get me wrong, you can have as many commands in here in this execution context, just like a regular function. So you can go ahead and save it and hit refresh. And there it is. It's a true statement. But let's say if all of them fail. So let's say that cars left is equal to one. Well, cars left is one and is it equal to zero? No. So this is now a false statement. Therefore, it's going to prevent any execution. So it's now no longer going to execute anything. But what you can do is say, if all else fails, so else doesn't need a condition. It says, look, if all else fails, then do this console.log. And then we can say, stay where you are and save that out and hit refresh. So this statement was false. So we don't execute that. This statement was also false. So we get rid of that. 
And if all else fails, so they did, then execute this execution context, which has no condition on it. And we just say, stay where you are. And there you go. We now have stay where you are. So we've chained this and you can keep adding as many else if statements as you'd like and keep adding as many questions as you would like, if you will. But I just need these three conditional execution contexts chained together using if, else if, and finally else. And again, you can optionally add in else and you can optionally add in else if but one thing you do need to start out with is an if statement so now what I'd like to do is we have cars left right here and I'd like to ask a little bit more information with this conditional statement whatever is written in between these parentheses is called a conditional statement and it's just checking to see if conditions are true but we have cars left but we also want to check the right hand side of the road for any cars as well. So what you have here is the ability to chain multiple comparison operators. Don't forget you got the Asking just one question like is cars left equal to zero, that's not really good enough because we also want to check the right hand side and I don't want to have to write a separate if statement because that just wouldn't work. So what I can do now is use the and or the or operators. Now which one would be correct? Well and would be correct because you need one and the other whereas the or operator is one or the other if one side is true or the other side is true then go ahead and perform this action so let's take a look at this if i say and so i'm going to say cars left is equal to zero and cars right is equal to zero then if both of these are true because we need this and this to be true in order to execute this execution context. So we say console.log all clear across the road. So let's go ahead and save this now. And we hit refresh and it says, sorry, no, that's still false. Stay where you are because cars left is not equal to zero. Cars left is equal to one. So that is actually false. Now cars right is equal to zero. You can see it there. So that is in fact true. However, you need this side to be true and this side to be true. So in this case, we have on the left hand side a false return from that conditional operator. And of course, if you get one side false, it's all false. So that's going to return false from that and operator. Sorry, you need both for it to be true. However, if you use the or operator, it means one or the other must be true. So if I save this now and hit refresh, you'll notice it executed. It did say console.log all clear across the road, as you can see. And that's because even though cars left is equal to false because it's not equal to zero, so that's false, and cars right is equal to zero, which is true, it says one or the other, and it's going to go with any truth. If this side is false or is the other side true? Well, it is. So as long as one of those sides is true, it will return true, and it did. However, we know that roads have two sides to them unless you're on a one-way street, and if you don't look both ways, you could end up being flattened by two tons of metal. So what we want to make sure is that we use the and operator here, one and the other. The left side has to be true and the right side has to be true. The or operator says either the left-hand side has to be true or the right-hand side has to be true, and that's it. All right, so I'm going to change this to the OR operator again, and I just want to mix and match this up. And I also want to say, is the green man equal to yes? We're going to use the AND operator again. So what I want to do now is I want you to look at this conditional statement, and I want you to tell me whether it will, if true, execute this execution context or it won't execute this context. I want you to pause the video and I want you to again have a look at the Mozilla Developer Network or MDN and we have all of these operators here that are defined, don't forget, in the JIT compiler and they all have an order of precedence. The ones with the highest number are executed first and you scroll all the way down and those are executed 
at the end. So what I would like you to do now is look at that condition and then I want you to go through that entire statement and tell me whether or not this is true or false. Pause the video now and then you can come back and see if you were right. So what we have first of all is we have the strict equality op operators. So if you take a look at this and I scroll down you'll see at level 10 we have the strict equality operator with the triple equals. That's the one that currently has the highest precedence. So we start with the first one on the left. So is the green man equal to yes? Well, the green man variable is equal to no. So this is false. And we want to take a look at cars left and then you also have cars right. And again, these operators here currently contain precedence. Well, this one is to be evaluated next. Is cars left equal to zero? Well, cars left is equal to one. So this is going to be false. Then we have cars right. And is cars right equal to zero? Well, cars right is equal to zero. So this is true. Now we also have the and or the or operator. So let's take a look at this if we can find it here. We have first of all the and operator and then you have the or operator. So we have six and five. So we've got to go with the highest order, which is the and operator. So if you take a look at this, we have the and operator, false and false. Well, don't forget for an and operator, you need this side to be true and this side to be true. So it's gonna return false, but you still have this or operator in here. And if you take a look at that, that's the next one, the final one, the or operator, and it's gonna say one or the other. Well, this side is true, so it doesn't matter. It's one or the other. Either side could be true. And with the or operator, if either side is true, it returns true. So in fact, the answer is yes, it will with this current conditional statement actually return console.log or clear cross the road. Let's take a look and see if we are right. And there you go. It says all clear cross the road. Now I'm going to change this because I actually want this to evaluate to false. I want to make sure that there is a green man always showing and at least one side of the road is clear. So what I do is I use the parentheses again, these round brackets. So I'm going to put in the parentheses like so. And what happens is you've changed the order of the execution because whatever is in between these parentheses is going to be executed first. And why is that? Because the grouping operator or the parentheses is in fact the most important operator in this statement as it currently resides at level 20. So it looks at whatever's in between these parentheses and evaluates what is in between them. So if we take a look inside of the parentheses, you have the strict equality operators, which they take the highest order. So what I want to do is we want to first of all evaluate it. Is cars left equal to zero? Well, cars left is equal to one, so that's going to be false. Then we also have the second strict equality operator operator is cars right equal to zero the answer is true and again we just wanted to check whether one side of the road was clear so that's okay so we want one or the other so this is the next operator to execute so this side is true wherever it finds a true on the or operator either side it's going to return true so the total evaluation from what's inside of the parentheses will return true inside of those grouping operators so it's evaluated everything and then it says and does the green man equal yes well the green man equals no so this is going to be false so you can see that by adding in those parentheses we've evaluated what was to the right of this and operator first and then we did what was to the left of it, which is now false. So with the and operator, you need one and the other side of the operator to be true. Fortunately, that isn't the case here. So we now want to return false. That will prevent this from executing. Then we have the else statement, which will say stay where you are because the green man needs to be there. So you can now see how adding in the grouping operator, just like in mathematical expressions, when we use the parentheses, it evaluates what's inside of it first. So if I hit refresh, you'll notice it says stay where you are. That is operators, that's their precedence, and that is basically where you have an execution context that is a conditional execution context. It executes upon a condition being met, 
and you can chain these execution contexts together. Likewise, you could say, right, is the green man equal to yes? So let's go ahead and change that to yes, like so, and then hit refresh. And you'll see that the green man, if it's equal to yes, console.log cross the road. And there it is, you get the value out across the road. So as soon as it finds a condition in a chain of execution context, this is a chain of three execution contexts right here. And if the first one is found to be true, then it will just stop there, execute that and return it. And the other ones will be ignored. So there we are, execution based upon condition.